Hi guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and today I have my Ipsy. I also have my BoxyCharm but I am gonna do the video separately so make sure that you look out for that one. Okay, so jumping into this, the first product is Ciate London Dewy Sticks in Glow. So this is a product that I did not think that I was going to like and I actually love. <laughs> so it's this, I don't know, it, it, it almost looks like a giant lip balm and it actually kind of feels like a lip balm. And the color of it, it says translucent, but it has kind of a white cast to it. Like I put it on my lips and it looked like I had just put white shimmery stuff all over my lips. And I don't know if you can see it on my hand. I do have it on my cheeks. And I put this on my cheeks this morning, which was hours ago. That's now 3.17 PM and I, Love it. It just adds a really natural glow because it's not adding a whole lot of shimmer and shine. I mean, there's definitely some tint to it, but it also just adds, well, it feels like a balm, right? So like if I touch my cheek right now, it still feels like I have balm on my cheeks. <laughs> so for oily skin, maybe not so much, but for dry skin, like moi, I love it. You know, it just keeps this area hydrated as well as looking highlighted and lovely. I, again, I did not think that I would like it and I ended up loving it. Okay. This is from Illamasqua and this is Hydra Veil Primer. This is this is weird. Um, I actually do like the product. The packaging, however, drives me nuts. So it's, you know, just twist off top and then you have this little thing here and a little scooper that slides in here, but with my giant man hands, it's just sort of awkward. Like, I wish that it was a little less complicated. Anyway, you lift this up and there's this gel inside. The packaging is black, but the actual gel is clear. So then you use your little scooper to scoop some gooey gel up. I mean, it's really like jello. Look at this. <laughs> and like that much is probably plenty for my whole face. And then it goes on really nicely, you know, just like a gel moisturizer. It's really lovely. I actually totally am into the product. I just don't care for this shovel packaging. You know what I wish it had? Drunk Elephant, their, what is it? Shabu, sha no, that's dinner. Uh, <laughs> they have, it's their, their makeup remover. I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, it's Drunk Elephant, their makeup remover, and it has a green lid with a magnetic scooper that just magnetizes to the lid. So you don't have to be careful. You don't have to squish it in. It's not super tiny and awkward. It's just a shovel that goes floop and it sticks. That's what this should have, because this sucks. I totally agree that it, the shovel is nice because of the weird gelatin texture, um, but I just, that tiny shovel drives me nutsos. Okay, this is from Tristique. This is a mascara. What's it actually called? Good Vibes Mascara. This is supposed to be one of those like all-in-one travel essential types. It's a giant fat tube, and on this end, you have a an eyelash curler. So this flips down. And then, you know, you can curl your eyelashes with this little, ow, I just pinched myself. <laughs> okay, so it works, but it's short. So you have to like do your lashes in sections, which I found to be awkward. And again, like it's just not worth it to me. The mascara itself isn't terrible. Well, I don't know. I mean, I've only used it like three times, okay? The first time I used it, uh, I just used it on its own and I thought this is, this isn't doing nothing. Like it barely looks like I have any mascara on. It has a slightly hourglass shaped wand. The actual formula is a bit wet. I don't know. The second time I used it, I used a primer and I thought that my lashes looked really great. Today I put it on with a primer and they were super like clumpy and spidery stuck together. So. I don't know what's going on with this. I'm not sure that I love it. If you're not gonna use this for travel with the the eyelash curler on this end, I feel like it's not worth it. Like the mascara just isn't good enough to deal with that. If you do need a travel lash curler, then that's great if this works for you. It wasn't really working for me. So that one was kind of a dud. This is from Murad and this is Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment. Not something I'm going to use, so I'm just gonna pass this on to somebody. 
Boop. And then this was my chosen item. This is from the Gigi Gorgeous collection, and this is the Sick Sculpt Bronzer Duo in Turnt and Extra. And I love it, you guys. It's so nice. Packaging, very cute, plastic. It says Gigi Gorgeous on it. You have a nice big mirror and this dual panned little thing going on, okay? The colors are gorgeous. I love the shades of both of these. They are definitely matte and they are just lovely. I can't even get them to swatch very well, but when I put them on, they work great. So today what I did is I took a big fluffy brush, swirled it around in both colors, and then bronzed my face, and I loved it. I thought that it worked really well. It was a great color, not too dark, not too orangey, but not too cool toned either. And then I used the lighter color to do some actual sculpting of the cheekbones and nose. I personally do not like a severe contour. I, my face is already kind of angular and I feel like if I do that it ages me and so I like but I like a little bit of something because I don't want a round poofy face either so a little bit of something so this is the perfect color for me because it's just a slight shade darker than my skin tone and it works beautifully so I'm super in love with this product and then for my add-ons I got also in the GG gorgeous collection it's just a lip balm but you know, it's nice, it's cute packaging, it's kind of on the fat side. It smells like cocoa butter. It's nice, I actually really like the texture of it and everything, so this is great. And then I got a Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in Trendsetter, which is what I have on my lips right now, and I love it. It's a brown, nude kind of a color, and I just think it's gorgeous. This time of year, I love wearing browns like this. I'm so happy. And the formula on this is very lightweight. It's not super hydrating, but it's so lightweight that it doesn't feel like you've just put cement on your lips either. So I will need to put some lip balm on later, but that's okay. I love it. I love the color. I'm happy. So for the most part, I'm actually really happy with these products. Oh, and this month we got a bag. I guess they re-added the bag. People missed getting makeup bags. I didn't, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't even notice a little tassel. That's cute. You know. Cute little bag, put all my stuff in. I have so many of these bags, it's ridiculous. All right, so let me know what you guys thought of your box this month. This is the Glam Bag Plus, not the Ultimate, and obviously not the little $10 bag. I'm loving the Plus. Let me know if you get the Ultimate, what you're thinking of it, because I know last month everybody was like, eh, you're not missing anything. So, curious to know. Definitely make sure that you look out for my BoxyCharm unboxing as well. It will be my last BoxyCharm unboxing. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!